What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So one of the subscribers has sent this video in. He wanted me to check this out. It's WWE Top 20 Moments. The fans get what they want. Let me give a special shout out to Eliasville34, man. Appreciate you, bro. I told y'all I was going to check this video out, so that's what I'm here to do. And um, I appreciate all the submissions. And when you guys send me videos for me to check out, you know, if I'm able to check them out, I definitely will. So I appreciate you know just all that you guys do on the main channel and on my personal channel um but yeah it's rare in wwe that we get what we want it, it's sad to say you would think a company that's all about entertainment would be willing to give us what we want you know what i'm saying when it comes to creative decisions and who we want to see as champion who we want to see being pushed so we're gonna check this out man i'm sure there's gonna be some great pops from the crowd it's gonna you know remind us of better times in wrestling so let's check this out appreciate all love and support and uh let's do it what's that i don't <laughs> let him run it <laughs> <laughs> nonsensical it would be if you were running Monday Night Raw. <laughs> I think this is when he returned. <laughs> let's see what the hell you got. Okay, come on, go. <laughs> this is awesome. Yes. Yes. running this show. Oh yeah, this was right around the time he had the match with the Undertaker or whatnot, and basically. This is right when he came back to WWE. I remember that he had the match uh, with The Undertaker. This was the Monday night after that. Uh, it was a pretty cool match. Of course, he had the crazy spot from falling off the, uh, the hell in the cell or whatever. But he ended up uh, running uh, Monday Night Raw for a little bit. So, that's I remember that storyline. Bray Wyatt. This was a great moment. This is... This is such a great moment for Bray. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps now, man. This is, oh my God. Bray had took out John Cena. He had slayed the guy that had like, pretty much stifled his run at WrestleMania 30. So it was cool to see that, bro. Oh my God, bro. Bray was so over, man. And he became the WWE Champion, bro. That was great, bro. This was a great moment, too. This was such a great moment, too. Mm -hmm. Hardy winning the WWE Championship, bro. Oh. On this grand stage. With such a great moment, man. You get zero dollar delivery fees. Don't mute this till the ad come back. Oh, ad disappear. This is this was also another defining character moment. At this point, they were trying to turn Becky Lynch heel, and Charlotte was the face at the time. But no one wanted to see Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Like no one wanted to see her as champ. They were tired of her title runs, and it was time for Becky to get. You know, get her moment. And this is this is how it started right here. And it got even better if you guys remember when she ended up with the uh bloody broken nose because of the brawl. It just went from there, bro. Oh man. Beat her ass, man. And people cared. And they tried to turn the heel, but it didn't work. Listen to how over he was. That's crazy. Please lose control here. Oh, 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 oh
Wow, bro. Just because they was in their home country. I remember this. This. I remember. I'm getting goosebumps because that's what Roderick Strong needed at the time because his character had gotten stale. So he turned heel, joined the Undisputed Era. Oh, man. A amazing moment, bro, in NXT. I'm getting goosebumps just watching some of these moments. This is this is great, bro. This is wrestling at its greatest. Emirates. Whoa! You know the United has said that Zack Ryder has to earn his opportunity. This is when he was getting over on YouTube at the time. We want Ryder, woo woo woo, all that shit. I love all that. Yeah. He's in trouble. Zack Ryder. Oh, you got it. And it sucks because Zack Ryder literally got over from YouTube and they literally killed his push. He was getting himself over off his YouTube and WWE didn't like that. That's I don't know what else you want. You know what I'm saying? For a talent to find a way to get themselves over and you still don't utilize them, bro. Like, they utilized him for a little bit, and then they just, they buried him, bro. It sucks. Oh, my God. Look at the dream. Tomorrow. This was a fantastic match, too. Rest in peace, Dusty. This was such a fantastic match. Fantastic match. And that gra you hear this? Uh, if you don't get goosebumps from this video, I don't. If you're like a real wrestling fan, I don't know what would give you goosebumps. Hearing that glass break and seeing that crowd lose their mind. Oh my gosh, bro! It's so good. <laughs> oh man, bro! It brings a smile to my face. <laughs> poor, poor Bo Dallas. One more time. <laughs> For me, I remember that. I remember this segment, bro. He was like, "Yo, just do it for me, bro. One more, one more time, just, 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 just for me, bro." All right, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! Paul's like, "Oh damn!" F5. Have a stupid idea, Bo. Don't act on it. Now each superstar will receive an opportunity. To Kevin Owens. What do you say, bro? This was right around the time. It was right before he won the uh, the Universal Championship. This was after SummerSlam when uh, Finn Balor had to relinquish it because of an injury. This was right. I'll never forget this moment. He won the Universal Championship in my home city in Houston, Texas, bro. And they did a swerve because they thought people thought Roman Reigns was going to win it. And then people thought Seth Rollins was going to win it. But then Triple H turned on Seth Rollins, man. And oh, my God. This is such a great moment, bro. He deserved that championship run for sure. Oh, Big Cass is eliminated. Big yep. Yep. Oh, yep. This was in Houston. Roman Reigns lights are off. What the oh, my God, bro. You deserve it. One of the best endings to a Monday Night Raw in a very long time. Still one of the best endings. Of course, can't forget this. Throw it back. They were throwing his shirt back. That's <laughs> love. 
<laughs> you get that kind of chance directed after the senior. See her. What the, what the hell is that? What's that? It's a hit! This was a great moment too right here when he won the hip. When he won the elimination chamber. This was great. This was great. And JR's announcing was fantastic, bro. My God, I don't believe it. Bruh. Oh, man, dog. I'm just this whole video has just been me filled with goosebumps, bro. Yep, glass break. All hell's about to break loose. This was the night he won. This was the night he won the championship. And of course, um, I want to say WCW, they were trying to be assholes at the time and spoil the ending of the match. Like, yeah, if you guys want to check out Mankind winning the championship, y'all can. And it backfired on them because everyone went from watching Nitro to watching Monday Night uh, uh, Raw's War just to see Mankind win the championship. This is this is one of the greatest one of the greatest cash ins of all time. I don't care what nobody say. This was Dolph Ziggler's one of his best moments in WWE ever. I don't think he will ever get a pop like this. I would love for him to be utilized better, but I don't think he will ever receive a pop this massive, bro. Right, at, right night after WrestleMania. And Lesnar came out and beat his ass. Holy sh holy shit was right. Yup. I remember that night. I was like, oh my God, Brock Lesnar is back. This was a great moment. And why this was a great moment is for the simple fact that the tables had turned. Daniel Bryan was on the other end of the Yes movement. Poetically, he was on the other end of the Yes movement. Kofi Kingston was having the run that Daniel Bryan had at WrestleMania 30, man. And you see the results here. Kofi Kingston being the next WWE champion at the time. The WWE Universe with it. Has to rub it in their faces. Man, hit me again. This was great, bro. Kofi did it. Kofi did it. Oh, I'm Kofi getting goosebumps it. now, bro. He deserved it. Obvious time for Jay called his championship a symbol of excellence. Money in the Bank, 2011. CM Punk versus John Cena. This was around the time I got back into wrestling. CM Punk was the reason I got back into wrestling. I got back into wrestling because of the infamous pipe bomb. Not even gonna lie. Saw it on YouTube, and I was like, yo, what is this? And got back into wrestling because of CM Punk. Not even going to lie to you. And uh, I remember watching this was one of the first pay-per-views I watched, and I was hooked. I mean, overall, the pay-per-view was, it was, it had some boring matches, but overall, it was a decent pay-per-view. What made this pay-per-view is none other than this crowd one of the best crowds I've ever seen in a WWE arena. And, oh, man, just the atmosphere. That match, one of the best matches I've ever seen, bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> CM Punk, bro. It, yep. Oh, my God, bro. Kick to the temple. See, they got to watch for that all. John Cena versus Triple H and 
<laughs> Love CM Punk, man. This was great. And I knew this had to be number one. I, I knew it was one of the recent ones. It had this had to be number one. Daniel Bryan overcoming the odds, overcoming the authority, overcoming the disadvantages that was well not the disadvantages, things that was coming his way, people telling him he couldn't be a A plus player, overcoming Vince McMahon. Because the crowd, the fans made this happen, bro. The yes movement was so strong, there was nothing they could do. It didn't matter what stadium they went to, the, what arena they went to. The yes movement was so powerful, they put him into the main event. If Daniel Bryan wasn't in this main event, they would have destroyed this main event. They would have shat all over WrestleMania, bro. One of my favorite WrestleManias of all time. And, yeah, man, maybe Daniel Bryan can, once again, with this year's WrestleMania, overcome the odds, bro. We'll see. But this is, I I frequently go back to check this video out just to hear the pop, the, the intensity from this crowd, bro. That was great, man. That was great, yo. This was a dope clip, man. This, it brought back so many memories, man. And it, it this shows the, the greatness that wrestling has when you give the fans what they want. That's it. You give the fans what they want. And you get products like this. I can't wait to for more fans to be able to come back into the stadiums and stuff as time goes by. Because I want to hear loud pops like this. Like, I want to hear the crowd lose their mind when they see their favorite wrestler win a championship. It's 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 a good feeling. It's a real good feeling. So, comment down below. Let me know which one of y'all, which one of the clips from this video was one of y'all favorite moments. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to have to go. Oh, it's tough. It is it's, it's tough. But um, I'm going to have to go with the Daniel Bryan winning at WrestleMania 30 only because... They literally was not trying to push this man. And for weeks on Monday Night Raw, they were screwing this dude over. They had screwed him over since SummerSlam. So to see that progression from him getting screwed over at SummerSlam to dealing with the authority to finally, finally overcoming Triple H, beating both Batista and Randy Orton to become the new undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion. It was, it was perfect. It was fantastic. And it was organic because the crowd wanted it. And WWE, they had no other choice but to listen to the fans. That's probably my favorite moment from this video. So comment down below. Let me know what was some of y'all favorite moments from this video. And I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 40K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.